The Book of the Prophet Obadiah It's generally accepted that the Book of Obadiah was written around the time that Jerusalem fell, around 587 BC. Not much is known about the prophet Obadiah. His name, Obadiah, means servant of Yahweh. He is speculated to have been buried somewhere in Samaria. Obadiah is the shortest book in the Old Testament, confined to a single chapter known as the Vision of Obadiah. The book is set right after the fall of Jerusalem to the Babylonians, around 587 BC. When Jerusalem fell, the Edomites watched and did nothing to help. Instead, they joined in on the destruction. They believed that God would act on their behalf and protect them, even though they were a violent and angry people. The main message of Obadiah's prophecy is that God will destroy Edom. Israel and Edom had partaken in a long-time family feud, going all the way back to Jacob's theft of his brother Esau's birthright. Even before then, Genesis portrays these two twin brothers as fighting in utero. The prophecy came true, and God smote the Edomites. In the New Testament, Jesus says that we must forgive and even love our enemies. Edom chose revenge over forgiveness, and the judgment of God fell upon them. The descendants of Jacob eventually returned home, but the descendants of Esau were permanently wiped off the face of the earth. Obadiah says, See, I will make you small among the nations. You will be utterly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you, you who live in the clefts of the rocks and make your home on the heights. You who say to yourself, Who can bring me down to the ground? Though you soar like the eagle and make your nest among the stars, from there I will bring you down, declares the Lord. Obadiah says, Because of the violence against your brother Jacob, you will be covered with shame. You will be destroyed forever. And that's the book of Obadiah in a nutshell.